Hello guys, I'm back. I'm back. Uh, I've been lacking on making content on this channel. I'm sorry for that. I don't have a big audience either, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> but just in case, if you were wondering, yes, I have been lacking on doing content on this channel. But the reason is the reason I got a perfect reason. I got a perfect reason. I've been with someone. I think you might see a little... I think you might see who I've been hanging out with a lot. <laughs> if you don't already know this i've been hanging out with this a lot um i got the ps5 i'm sounding cocky i don't want to sound cocky anymore. <laughs> my goodness i have been ever since i did the video of my unboxing for the ps5 and plugged it in and started playing it i've been doomed out i mean I, some of the amazing games that the ps plus has offered and all that and yeah man i <laughs> couldn't stop playing it man i was playing god of war which was a game that i've been wanting to play forever and it was amazing to have a chance to play the game complete it and all that but um of course i'll talk about that on another video in the future but this video is about something that i've been wanting to do forever I, I might do a series in my top 10 list of favorite games of all time and all that for this video we're gonna go into the gamecube world so it, it might it's a fun video i've been always wanting to do it like i've said right so i got 10 i got 10 video games in this list it's uh it's, it's it kind of hard man because when you're a gamer you sit down you want to break down all the games that have impact, impacted you kind of kind of hard you know there's some amazing games out there for the gamecube and it's kind of hard to do a just a list of 10 games put it together to 10 video games in this list of course honorable mentions i got a list right here but uh in my top 10 list on number 10 WarioWare. I mean, WarioWare is a game that I remember was playing as a child, and it was, I think it was the first WarioWare game that I've ever played in my entire life. Um, I didn't even knew that Wario had a game. I was like, what? That's crazy. You're known with Mario having a game and all that, but not Wario. I mean, Wario Land and of course WarioWare were such a big hitters for me in the past, and when I started playing these games, it's like, I was blown away. Yeah, so it's just a game full of mini games, but there, there's some bizarre <laughs> mini games in there that you're like, what, what am I doing? Well, what am I playing? But like their mini games are so addictive. You want to keep playing them again. There's some uh, Nintendo Easter eggs and kind of like, wow, like I, I want to play this forever. So yeah, I mean, WarioWare for number 10 on my list. And then on number nine, it's not a, it's not, it's not gonna game that you think it's gonna be a Nintendo game. It's actually not. It's actually a game that I played when I was younger and I actually have it right here. It's not a main IP. It's actually a third party. <laughs> it's, a, it's a game you're not going to expect. But for number nine, for my list, is Spider-Man 2. Holy shit. Spider-Man 2, you cannot touch that. This game right here is what gave us the pizza theme song. When you do that pizza uh, side mission on Spider-Man 2, that you have to deliver the pizza to a guy or something like that. And that incredible, iconic pizza theme song comes out. And it's, it's such a, I mean, it's such a meme. <laughs> and I love that theme song. It's one of my favorite theme songs in the game. But apart from that, I mean, just the idea of that you can swing around and all that. I mean, way before we didn't have Marvel Spider-Man for the PS4 before, we had this. So this back then, when you play this game, you had, of course, the freedom that you have now for the, for the one for the PS4. And yeah, man, it's just, it's, it's a big, it's a crazy game. Just imagine Marvel Spider-Man PS4 and like very uh shitty uh <laughs> very shitty quality and design and all that but it still has a huge place in my heart and i love this game so much and playing the main the main story and of course the side quests and all that it's a it's a game that will keep you all day playing the game so yeah so number nine spider-man 2 for the gamecube which is crazy and i still got the disc here i still got the disc i'm bad at handling stuff but uh, yeah, still got the game and all that. I don't have the brochure or the booklet or anything like that, which is sad. Uh, but yeah, number nine, Spider-Man 2. And on number eight, 
We're going back to the IPs. We're going back to the IPs and this game right here. I will only turn this game on just to hear the, the music and the soundtrack of all that. I mean, the main thing, when you see this name, it's always battling and all that, but this game right here is kind of different and that's what I liked about it. So on number eight, I got the Pokemon channel. The Pokemon channel, wow. I mean, I remember playing this when I was younger and I was watching the Pichu Bros uh, little movie scenes and all that. It's kind of awesome. And when you complete the whole movie, you will actually see the whole thing. It's like, there's so many small things that makes it so big. Like, it's so crazy. Of course, like I've mentioned earlier, I love the soundtrack of this game. The soundtrack of this game, and music is so calm and all that. And I think that's one of the reasons that kept me playing this game. It's just how calm it is. And you're basically just, um, you're, you live with a Pikachu and the Pikachu loves watching TV and he loves watching channel. He likes buying stuff, a lot of stuff. He makes me broke and watch the news and watch Pikachu bros and all that. That's, that's the main of the game. <laughs> that's the point of the game. Basically Pikachu watching tv while you're watching him watch tv it's it's crazy but i love it i love the game I it complete i have the little the little booklet which is complete and of course the game and i have this bubble wrap to protect it um this is i think this is the only game that have a bubble wrap for it i think i actually got this game from ebay so i think i got this a few years ago this is my second time owning this game right here, but uh, Pokemon Channel, such a great game to have and to just pass time and be relaxed and all that. And yeah, so I can't, I can't say anything else. I just love video games. I love retro games and I always love them. If you can make a remake, I'm always gonna come back to the, to the original piece, which is crazy for me. Still play the remaster. I would love to play the remaster, but I'll still come back to the original. <laughs> it's like Spiral, Spiral Reignited. But I'm still gonna come back to the original Spyro PS1 edition. Like, it's crazy, I'm like that. I love new version, I love old version, I'm like this. <laughs> if you haven't played this game, I recommend it. And find it for cheap on eBay, please. Don't spend, don't spend crazy money on that. Number seven is actually in the same group category for Pokemon. It's actually Pokemon Stadium. Uh, I do not have Pokemon Stadium Bruh. with me right now because I've had it younger. But uh, yeah, uh, Pokemon Stadium Bruh. is another game that if you want to go back into the battling scene and all that for Pokemon, this is a perfect game for the GameCube. So Pokemon Stadium, uh, you start off with your main Pokemon, which is uh, Umbreon and Espeon, and you just basically battle. There's a story arc. That's one of the games that I've never finished. So it's actually, it will be kind of interesting to go back to that game and finish it. Basically remember like the beginning parts and all that. So I only finish it like halfway. Really good, uh, big part of my heart for that game. That game, um, I remember having that game in my middle school days. No, in my ele elementary school days. And um, in that moment I was not in a big, uh, good place and I was always go to my video game spot and always play video games to take my mind off and all that just relax and Pokemon is one of those um, more memories it helped me a lot back then when I was a little bit younger going through some hard phases and all that um, I will always go back to the games that I really love and just get my mind off it um, of course I'm not the only one that experienced that a lot of people in this world uh, go through that and are going through that and I think that video games is a really good place to let your mind off and just escape to another uh, adventure world and just get your mind off reality for a tech and just enjoy life and enjoy video games that's the point of it. but yeah uh, Pokemon Stadium on my number seven on that list and going to number six number six guys oh man I actually got this one right here man oh my goodness Whew. this is the best soccer game ever and respect to the of course uh, the, the, the main sports game that are out there right now. Respect to y'all, but this game right here, you can't beat it, you can't beat it. On number six, guys, we got Super Mario Striker. This thing right here, man, and I actually do have the Wii version, but I've never played the Wii version. This is the only game I play on Super Mario Striker. This game right here is so intense. Oh my goodness. I remember um, finishing this game and towards the end, uh, super unexpected villain came out of nowhere. It's these robotic people. And finishing that game, it just made me feel that like I've achieved life, bro. Um, wow, the, the intensity you play in this game, and this is not your ordinary soccer game. I mean, of course, 
uh, you do have power-ups and all that. You basically have your own special move to score your two points and all that. It's a game that I've always been there my entire childhood. Like I always have it. If I don't have it in one point, I will buy it again and all that. And Super Mario Striker is a really big part of me, man. Um, I would love to play the Wii one one day. I've never played it. I own it because I bought it on eBay a long time ago. But I've never played it, just have it into the collection. But it will be a good game to test it out and to see how if it's comparable to this one. Because this game right here, oh my god. I love this game so much. Super Mario Striker, one of the best Mario Sports game ever created. Right next to Mario 3 on 3, which is a basketball game for the DS. Definitely recommend that. I'm, I should make a DS uh, list in the future, which is, I do have a lot of DS games that I really want to talk about in the future, but we'll leave that for another video. Number six, Mario Striker. Really love this game. I love it dearly and I will always still play until this day. Like I love this game. I used to play with my cousins and all that, my brothers, and we would, we will have a blast just playing this amazing game. But yeah, Super Mario Striker. Sadly, I, still, I only have the disc. And I only have the GameCube booklet, uh, the instruction, um, the health and safety booklet, which is boring, but it's cool to have. And on number five, ladies and gentlemen, I don't have it, but I actually have uh, one of them here. And it's not the American version. It's actually a Japanese version that I bought a long time ago as well. It's, it's basically, I'm not gonna name one because there, there has been a multiple, uh, uh, multiple games for the GameCube for this game. But uh, I think I'll, I like all of them. Um, on number five, I have the entire Mario Party series. So basically, I think it's from the third to the seventh, if I'm not mistaken. I think they only did uh, one and two for the N64. And then I think, I, I think, I'm not sure guys. I think it's the third to the seventh they did, they did for the GameCube. And then eight for the Wii and all that and so on. Mario Party, the entire series of Mario Party for the GameCube is such a oh my goodness it's a this is another banger from my childhood and i will play this oh this is this is a game i used to play an all-nighter man the all-nighter just to pass the game and compete with other uh, mario characters and all that on different mini games which is something that i love um wow i think these are the only mario party games that i've ever played i have played the wii one and all that but i don't know that game i think the gamecube ones always have a special spot that you just want to keep going back and playing. And I've, I have owned Super Mario Party, which is for the Switch. I've played that game and all that, but I don't know. Like, eh. It's a good game. It's a good game. But, like, it's not, like, the big banger for me. Like, I, I prefer to play the GameCube Mario Party games all day, anytime. Like, these games are such a good way to spend with your family and all that. Just play some different games. And that's pretty cool. Here is a Japanese one. So we'll have to buy a Japanese import GameCube to actually play this game. So, but yeah, man, I think, I mean, I got this uh, game because I wanted to have it for the collection. And of course, the this is how the disc look. If, you ever, if you've never seen a Mario Party Japanese game, that's how it looks inside. And of course, we got the little booklet right here, which is awesome. I love this booklet. That's pretty cool. It's also the cover for the front, but uh, that's pretty cool. I will actually love to have more uh, Japanese Mario games in the future, which is some one of the dreams I want to have. I want to have every single Mario game in my, in my collection. For the GameCube, it's an absolute blast. It is a really good game to go back to, so I recommend that. But all right, that was number five. And on number four, Mario Kart Double Dash. Double Dash, man. Oh my goodness. I am a sucker for Mario Kart games. I remember that my mom will always complain when I was younger that I will always buy the same thing. But it's not the same thing, man. I mean, same thing and her meaning is like, oh, I'll buy for the DS and I'll buy for the GameCube for the Wii. You're buying the same game. I mean, that's not the same game. And there's different characters, different courses. You can't, you can't fight on me on that. I mean, it's a different game, but of course the same mechanic. <laughs> but Mario Kart Double Dash has to be one of the best Mario Kart games out there. What is in here? Oh, guys, here's Pokemon Coliseum. Holy crap. Oh my God. And wow, I'm an idiot. I just noticed. 
when I called out Mario State Pokemon Stadium, it's not Pokemon Stadium, it's Pokemon Coliseum. Bruh. Oh my goodness. Oh man, I'm sorry. I'm gonna edit that in. I, I noticed just right now. One right here was the one that I had back then that I will play so much in my childhood, but this one does not work. I mean, this one stopped working years ago. And I still have it there just for to remember it by and all that. It's my memory card double dash right there and all that. But I'm uh, getting off topic. And I made that mistake, my bad. <laughs> but man, um, like I was saying, Mario Kart Double Dash has to be one of the best Mario Kart games ever to date. I mean, just having the ability to have someone on your back throwing items and all that and while you're driving, you can switch characters. It's a, it's a really cool technique that I would wish to have on a future Mario Kart game. Will be something, it'll be something pretty cool. A different concept and all that, having new characters, pretty cool. But uh, yo, such a good, awesome game. I mean, this is a game that I've completed and I have all the cards, all the characters and all that. When, when I didn't have it when I was younger, I remember I would use, always used to go to the website, go into the Mario Kart Double Dash website and just click on the characters and all that. Pretty cool seeing the character bios and all that cool stuff. I always thought when I was little that I could play the game on, on the PC. <laughs> That's why I think I will always go back to that website just to click on the little icon to see if I could play the game. Same thing with Mario Kart Game Boy. I was such a dumb kid before. <laughs> but man, when I first, when I got my hands on this game, which is the original game, I actually bought this on a GameStop for $20 back then. Which is crazy, man. Seeing these prices on these uh, GameCube games and seeing it now, super incredible. And of course, I love the art on the back of the different characters and all that good stuff right there. It's such, it's such a cool thing to look back to. And of course, this game, I will never get tired. I will always play this game with my brothers and all that. They love this game. And they sometimes even ask me, hey man, plug in your TV and play. Let's play some Mario Kart Double Dash, man. And I'm like, I got Super Mario Deluxe, bro. What are you talking about, no, bro? No, we gotta play this, bro. We gotta play this. I'm like, okay, fine. On my number three list, I think I lost it when I was a child, so. It's Mario Sunshine. Mario Sunshine is another game that I will spend hours and hours and hours playing the damn game. And I, I will always think that, damn, how many stars do you need to fight the final boss with this Bowser? But, oh my God, the game is one of the games, one of the few games that I didn't care. I had to start it over and start fresh and all that because of how awesome it was. I mean, the game is super cool different mechanics, uh, different mechanics that were introduced in that time for Mario. And then of course, Flood, his buddy, which is the one he always uh, tags along with in his entire adventure in, on Delfino Island. Um, the game is a phenomenal. I mean, it has so many cool stuff, so many cool levels, so many hard levels, man. I mean, I will spend hours on some levels that I, I thought I would never, oh my God, I'm tired. I just want to rage quit the fuck out of the game, bro. And just, Forget about it. But I will always come back the next day because of how good the game is. But yeah, Mario Sunshine, a big, uh, big special place in my heart. And of course, we are such lucky fans, Nintendo fans, to actually receive Super Mario 3D All-Stars. And of course, Mario Sunshine is right there, man. And oh my goodness. I love playing Super Mario Sunshine once again on my Switch on the go and all that. And it's a big plus. So playing these games on the go. I still need to finish it. I still need to finish Super Mario Sunshine. I still need to finish all, all of the three games. I started playing on my Twitch, but I stopped and all that. Um, then I go back into it sometime. If not, just play my own. I mean, those those games, the Super Mario 3D All-Stars are a really good thing to buy for all Nintendo fans. If you want to get into the Mario universe and play some really cool 3D uh, Mario games, definitely recommend that pack. But uh, anyways, guys, on my number three spot, Super Mario Sunshine, awesome game. Definitely recommend the game. Number two, oh my goodness. I couldn't leave this game behind. This game right here is one of the games that introduced me into the gaming world. And, uh, and I started with a PS1. But this game right here is what really got me into the Nintendo spirit and Nintendo world and all that. And being so uh, into this uh, different characters in the Nintendo universe. 
and make me play different games than just Mario, man. Kind of hard, man, because I wanted, I really wanted to give this guy a really high level. But I think number, the number one that I have in my list does deserve the number one spot. But the number two, number two, has to be Super Smash Brothers Melee. This game, man. Oh my goodness, the amount of memories I have with this game, and continues to be one of my favorite Super Smash Brothers games out there. I mean, of course, my first one being Ultimate. Uh, I think my second one has to be Melee, man. It has to be Melee. Like, Melee, I will spend so many hours playing this game and all that. Of course, unlocking the characters. But uh, one of the things, I think this game is what really got me into the Smash Brothers universe is that I remember one day I went to, I I went to vis visit my brother's uh, house back then. And so it was with this back then when I was little, I used to live in Puerto Rico. Uh, I am from Puerto Rico, if you didn't know. Um, back in Puerto Rico, the Puerto Rico days, and I remember I went to his house and we went to one of his friends' house um, and we played Smash Melee. And then his Smash Melee, when I first look in on his roster, I didn't even knew that Young Link and Ganondorf and Mewtwo and Game & Watch and Marth and all those crazy characters were in the game. And I remember when I saw that roster, I was like, what in the hell? Did you hack your game or something? And I, he was like, no, those are games that are unlockable in the game. And back then, I didn't know that. I mean, we didn't have the internet back then. The magazines, I don't know. I would always love to look at the pictures, but I would not always like, care to read us. Back then, my unlockable characters were the usual. Jigglypuff, Pichu, Dr. Mario. <laughs> Dr. Mario and all that. I didn't even knew Luigi was in the game until I saw that guy's roster, man. I was like, holy crap. When I got back home that day, I went ham on that game and I unlocked all the characters on that same night, man. Even Mewtwo, even Game & Watch. I, locked, I unlocked all the characters that same day because I knew that there was something else in the game and all that. And I'm a sucker for unlocking characters on video games, so. Yo, Super Smash Brothers Melee will always have the one of the biggest parts in my life. Like, I will have a tattoo of this game because of how amazing it is to me and all that, and all the memories and all the the rage and <laughs> the rage that I've met, and all the people that got mad at me and all that, and all the, and all the fun times that I have with this game with people is what makes it number two in my spot. And of course, Melee. Surprise possession right here. I even still have, of course, so I have the disc. Very, very lucky to own this game, man. This is the game that I've owned when I was little. And I bought this game for $20 on GameStop <laughs> or something like that. But yeah, you can see it right there, 1999. Oh my goodness. And it's, it was used. But try to buy a complete game of this on right now on ebay it's like 80 dollars now it's just crazy i would love to own a brand new game just to keep it sealed for the collection but i think what we'll, this will do for now so yeah super smash brothers melee number two on the list and of course guys before we jump into number one we gotta jump into honorable benches like i've said in the beginning of the video and actually some weird ass games that i thought i would never I'll have it right here, me man. When I think about a video game, I think about the memories and all that and all the past stuff and I've been doing. And it basically were the games that I could only like have access to it in that moment. So we're not big game they're they're not big games for they're a really big part of me. So I'm very, very happy about this. But I still have the original one. Honorable mentions, guys, is a very it's a weird game, man. But I love this game to death, bro. When I completed this game, I was so happy because of how how many missions this game had and all that. Very happy. But guys, on my honorable mentions, I have Harry Potter, The Chamber of Secrets. This game, man, holy crap. I love Harry Potter. Not a biggest fan of Harry Potter, but I love the Harry Potter universe and all that. I've always been a big fan of it. And this game right here is what really got me into that universe. Uh, Harry Potter Chamber of Secrets. I mean, one of the coolest games ever ever owned, man. Like, it's so crazy. Like, I, I still have the original booklet and all that. I still have the game. And, of course, the graphics were the worst. But, like, the story and the amazing, like, the spells you had in this game. And the adventures you had in the entire castle, Hogwarts Castle. 
is what really big made this game spot on. And yeah, man, it's of course playing this game with my brothers and all that has always been a big part of Harry Potter and the list of honorable mentions, Chamber of Secrets, pretty cool. Love this game. And on my second, uh, there's actually a couple games in here. We're gonna go skip very fast. Uh, my second one is Harvest Moon, A Wonderful Life. And this game right here, man, I remember, oh my goodness, I was introduced to this game due to a game that I played a lot back then, which is on my number one spot. Uh, this game, they told me, hey man, it's kind of like that game. But it's a bit different. It's kind of the same concept, the same feels and all that. And I tested it out. I played Harvest Moon. I used to play it on my PS2 and of course on my GameCube. But this game, man, oh my goodness. I will spend hours and hours and hours just to make sure that my animals were safe, exploring the village and all that cool stuff. But uh, it's, a, it's a really good game. I really liked it. I really like Harvest Moon. Moon on my honorable mentions list. And uh, num my, my other ones are, of course, Super Monkey Ball. Super Monkey Ball is an amazing game as well. Very strategy type game. You gotta, you gotta have the patience for that game so you can achieve it. But Super Monkey Ball, really good one. Um, my last one in the list is F-Zero GX. Um, this game was actually on the list before, but I took it out and I decided to put another in. I think I put it in Mario Party. Mario Party, you can't beat that, man. I mean, Mario Party is a really big hitter, but F-Zero GX was a game that I played later in the year. And uh, it's, it's a blast. I mean, it's a fast paced game and you really gotta be quick when you're driving that car, man. But F-Zero GX has to be a really cool game. So well, that's it for my honorable mentions. And, uh, we're jumping into number one. Huh. This game right here is what really stepped me into the video game world. And um, wow, this game, the amount of hours and dedication and love that I gave to this game is unbelievable. I will never stop playing this game, even though we have a, a new one today i will never stop playing this wow this game right here is where I really kind of changed my life and kind of uh, jumped me into the world of nintendo a little bit more so of course we have melee different characters nintendo characters but this game right here is where I really stepped me in into playing more games out there and trying them out and all that just for the type of game it is so and this is different it's a different game Back then, you're usually, when you play back then, you think about Mario, Pokemon, Zelda, and all that. Great, amazing game. Still to this day, just a lifestyle you play on this game is amazing. And just, I mean, the retro vibes of this game. On my number one list, guys, is of course, welcome to Animal Crossing for the GameCube. Holy crap, man, this game, this game, man. Oh, juice. Oh, juice, juice. Wow. Animal Crossing is a big part of my life, man. Animal Crossing, of course, right now we have New Horizons. One of the best Switch games ever created. Period. But of course, we gotta learn where it came from. And this is where it came from right here, man. The GameCube version, right? course it this used to come with a memory card because of course the big thing about this game is you gotta have, you gotta have your memory card so you can save all your progress and doing your houses you're paying your mortgages and all that meeting your villagers and all that well 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 a little point uh the villagers back then we used to be used to be dickheads man they used to be a little bit more meaner than now <laughs> so i think i played this on last the last time i played this was on march uh march or april i talked to the villagers they were kind of dicks man Oh my goodness, man. Calling me ugly and all that crap. And I'm like, hey, bro, what the fuck? <laughs> Villagers now, they're not going to do that and all that. But back then, bro, yo, I don't even know what I was, I was taught. I, I don't know. I don't even know what I was getting myself into when I was playing this when I was younger, bro. I could have called so many people bad things and all that. I didn't even notice. I didn't even care. I just want to play my mortgage. <laughs> Animal Crossing for the GameCube. Love this game. And of course, you might be wondering, I know. There's some big games that I missed in this list, man. Definitely. 
Back then, I didn't have the enough resources to play all of the amazing games that the GameCube has to offer and all that. Because if I did, obviously this list would have been a lot different, of course. Uh, Legend of Zelda Wind Waker, which I'll tell the truth. I'll tell you the truth. It's a game that is on my list to play. I've never played Wind Waker. I didn't have it. Didn't have it back then. I think, I guess I was not too big into Zelda, to the Zelda universe back then. Like, of course, I have played Ocarina of Time, one of my favorite games of all time, on the N64, which is a total banger. I loved Ocarina of Time. Um, of course, I played Twilight Princess. I played the Twilight Princess on my Wii U for the remaster and all that. I played all the main Zelda games. Of course, Breath of the Wild, I passed the game. One of the most amazing games ever created. I love that. I love that game. Breath of the Wild, one of my favorite games. But for the GameCube era, then I have, I mean, I was not big, that big into that universe yet. So I had to give myself time time but of course uh luigi's mansion is another great game but like i've barely played that game at all like I'm, i i i remember I, I borrowed it from my cousin and it was such a quick moment like um, i think he he gave it to me i played it for a couple hours and that he just took it away from me like, it was so stupid it was so stupid bro like whatever really good game i mean there's some big hitters for the gamecube that i I still have to try on and all that, or I play the series on other consoles, which, which is a big thing. So, yeah, man. I mean, Pikmin, uh, such a good game. Never played it for the GameCube, of course. Right now, I'm growing up. I basically tried almost every game and all that. I'm still trying games out. Of course, with my PS5 right here, I'm still trying some games out that I've been wanting to play for a while. And I will always, always keep on discovering games, man. I always spend my entire life just playing games, like discovering different worlds and all that, which is something that I love to do. And yeah, that's the amazing, the amazing power of video games. I will still come back to play those games, even though we have newer versions of the future or something like that. I will always, always go back to that place when I was younger and just play video games, just like I was a kid, which is something very cool to do. Uh, but yeah, but guys, I want to hear your top 10 list of GameCube games. Please drop it in the comments below. I want to have a conversation with you guys to see what you think, what you thought of my list. But guys, thank you so much for watching. There will be more videos coming up, hopefully in the near future. But I'll see you on the next one, guys, and stay positive.